welcome. We are back again with another showdown video. And today, we got a truly insane looking team. Okay, we got Rabombi, of course. You know, we're going to go for the webs. The web hyper offense ish, I guess. This team's kind of wild. We got, you know, you just see Haxers back here. You're like, what is blood cooking? But. Yeah, I got this team again from the Smogon Forum. And don't sleep on Haxorus. This thing's like a secret threat. And the starters, we got a very really strong looking team up here. Looks like we're going to have some Roar of Ale action going on. He's going to lead with the Rot. Doesn't really have... Does Thunderous get Defog? I don't know. If, if Thunders gets Defog, he has Hazard removal, but... Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just go for, like, a, a Moonblast off rip, or... I think I'll go for Webs. I'm gonna go for a Ceaseless. And I'm gonna go for Moonblast. I'm gonna get up his Hazards. Oh, he turns into a Ghost. Oh, we get the Crit! <laughs> That's kind of wild. Don't really need it anymore. So he could HA if he wants, but it doesn't matter. The damage is done. Uh, what should we go into? Um, I think Wake's just the best option, yeah. Looking at his team, Flamethrower is like the easiest option. Thunderous will still... Thunderous outspeeds us, actually. Thunderbolt can kill. So we should go into... Hoopa. Oh, wow. He went for the Grassy Knot. I guess Hoopa's heavy. I guess Hoopa's just heavy. Hoopa's a bit of a fat ass. And we get Grassy Knotted out. This Haxorus, if we don't get paired or anything, I think Haxorus can do it. So, we're going to go for the Scale Shot. He reads that, he goes Nine Tails. However, does he know about the Poison Jab? And he encores the Poison Jab, so... I think I'll go gold here. He's this is an opportunity to put a veil. So I'm gonna go ahead and nasty plot up. And let's see, he can go to his own gold. Or a faster gold. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be who wins the speed die. Has a chance of knocking each other out. Uh it's like a 50-50. Okay, he goes for Nasty Plot. Ooh! Okay. Okay. That's that's big. That's big. And his snow is gone. And we get an immediate forfeit. Get a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker into this. Last last one was a little bit longer, but we're looking to we're looking to go up the ladder this time. We didn't really move last time. And we got a polyrap over here. Pretty sure it's the first time seeing Valiant in this series. That's kind of surprising. Valiant's so prevalent, but I guess we're kind of low at her. Anyways, he has Tusk, Moltres. Rabombi's not the worst lead. If he leads Moltres, it's bad, and Moltres is like a pretty good lead. I think I'll lead Wake. And that was a good decision. Okay, Polyrath has Water Absorb. So, I'm thinking... Could go for... A Dragon Pulse. Oh my... He Terra Steeled. I, I, back of my head was thinking Flamethrower, but then I was like, no, he has Moltres, it's dumb. Um... It's kind of a fret now, actually. Let's see, who do we go? Uh, who's bulky? This is like the last thing I want to see right now. 
I guess we can go Haxorus. On Gambit. Okay, okay. We could go for a CC or we could be really insane and go for Poison Jab. I'm gonna go for CC. Okay, he just sacks his Gambit. F thank you. You made that match so much easier for me. You're not making me fight that monster. Okay, and here... I think I'll go Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory's just kind of chilling here. And he kill with knockoff. But I don't really care. I'm gonna go for a Psychic. He goes for Psyshock, okay. So we'll go ahead and take Valiant with Lemon. Oh, monkey dude. Oh, he's Balloon. Damn. If he nasty plots, we could do something crazy. Okay, he goes for the Shadow Ball. I was about to say, if he nasty plots up, I was about to be like, word, tear ground, boom. But, okay, so... For Awake Flame... Yeah, I'm thinking go wake, go for flame. Flame's kind of, it's like 50-50 because he has Moltres and Polyrath. He sacks gold. I guess he just doesn't know how to switch out. Polyrath. I remember when the leaks for the DLC came out, they were saying Polyrath gets a victory dance and I was so excited. But we got the Belly Drum. Does he have Aqua Jet? Where, what am I saying? Where... We're sashed. We're sashed. We don't care regardless. He goes Tusk to us. What does this do again? Swaps abilities. Well, then that, that'd be good for him. I mean, go ahead and stun Spore. He goes for the Rapid. So he's like, he's not fast right now. I'll go Hacks. And yeah, this is a pretty clear cut game, I feel, at least. He's back to normal, basically, with speed, so I think I'll go for SDCC. Okay, yeah. Um, we're gonna turn- oh, oh. We're gonna turn to a fire type. This is insane. So we can't be burnt. Gonna go for the loaded dice scale shot. Three, four, five? No five. Okay. Can't win them all. He misses the hurricane. Yep. The, the birds, once again, being the birds. And we get a double forfeit. Back to back to back. We're in the 1100s now. We're we're inching our way up. Inching our way up the ladder. One little bit at a time. And we run into like a balanced team. This team looks kind of kind of wild. Um, I think I'm going to lead or Bombi. Look at he lead. I want to try to pull off a stun spore on Guy Score, because when you status Guy Score before the poison activates, you feel like the smartest individual in the world. But yeah, no, after that last match, it's like, can you sleep on Haxorus anymore? The, the correct answer is yes, but if it pulls something off, no one knows how to deal with it. You got that Mold Breaker, so there's the potential of Poison Jab, Poisoning Guard. Like, it's just kind of wild. Like, I remember when the gen came out, it was a very, like, versatile-looking dude. So, anyway, look like he has any spinners. So, I'm going to go for a web. And... Here I go Monkey. I'm gonna go Monkey. Go Monkey. He goes for the Mortal Spin, gets rid of it. And I'm gonna go for the Psychic. He could go Rot. But he's always Sash. Glims are always Sashed. And I guess I could just pull Sludge Wave, because Sludge Wave is just free if something comes in. If Samrock comes in for the resist. Okay, Blissey comes in. 
which is also another free option. Oh, I'm gonna rebombi. I'm gonna put up rock. So I'm gonna put up webs again. And we don't have any hazard removal, which is kind of risky. Because if my opponent has a Cinderace, I don't want to put up webs. But that being said, that's what they know I'm going to go for. Or what I know they're going to go for. I know they're going to go for the court change. So I can take advantage of that. Guy score. I'm going to go for the Sun Spore. Let's go! Agility. Oh! Oh, this this looks menacing. This looks menacing. Agility facade. Oh, that is such an evil set. He doesn't have any ghosts, though. Let's go Haxorus. Oh, he doesn't have any. I meant fairy. So scale shot is like a thing we could do. One, two, three, four. He loaded dice at least guarantees like a four on these moves. We didn't go for the SD, so it's kind of meh. Speed reduced. Yep, we'd love to see it. And before we just missed the first scale shot, he has sucker punch. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! One, two, three. It is 90% accuracy. Axus winning us another game. Okay, 1150. We're at 1150 now. Go a little bit more. And we got a screens team. Let's see, I think. Who do I want to lead in this situation? I think lead gold. Right? Do I want to lead gold? Never zombie. I think I want to. Uh. Gills. I thought of something funny. Thought of something funny. So he can put up his veil. I'm gonna put up my webs. Oh, he's gonna go for the, the Blizzardo. And now we go gold. Let's see what he's gonna go for. Yeah, I'm thinking gold is pretty safe here. Go for the gold. He goes for an encore. Um, make it rain. He Terra steals. Okay, so it kind of gets in our way a bit. However, we still have our weight. Oh, yeah, that was actually a bad move. That was actually a bad move. I forgot for Easter Eye was a thing. Uh,. I should just wait out the snow. What's the thing with with uh, Aurora Veil? Vale? Nine Tails can either be icy rock or light clay. He can't be both, and he can't really damage me. I think we win one on one. He has Hoopa. Doesn't matter if he's scarfed or not, but he still kills me. I still gotta respect this thing. It's a big ass threat. So I'm gonna go Bombi, Sacker Bombi. And I'm thinking Haxorus? We do not do much damage to it. I think we'll go our own Hoopa. Go into our Bandit Hoopa and... Let's see, I think we go for a... A Drain Punch. Just... No Gunk Shot. Go for a Gunk Shot. I want to go for green punch or hyper. I'm going for hyperspace. It's the strongest move here. If he switches out, hyperspace is a good move. Which he might switch out to try to keep his hoop afresh coming in next. And we're 
gonna have to wait to see what he does. What 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 could he be thinking? What what could he be thinking? Speaking of thinking, I said something yesterday like buckling your bootstraps in the last video. And like I heard that like five times over through like editing it. And I was just like, oh my god, I face palm like 90 times. Listening to that. That was just so cringe. But yeah, last, last video was pretty fun. This video is pretty fun. Way more fun because we've been getting dubs. But who knows, maybe this team will win. We're already down them on. Unless he just wants to time out. And that's kind of lame. Come on, bro. Just take... If, if you don't got nothing... Just, just forfeit. Like, I don't know. He's got a full team. He probably just, like, doing something right now. I always hate it. It's always Pokemon games that have, like, the players that just wait until the timer is out. The The card game's not really that different. Card game's worse, actually, because someone will just, like, queue up, and they'll literally just, like, time out on the second turn. We got 15... All right, so we're gonna give him a bit of a 10 count. 10, nine. Okay, he makes his play on second 20. Just for us to go for hyperspace again. 10, nine, eight. He's down to Hoopa, but we got to switch, I think. Okay, he goes to Zap. Uh, no, Golden, make a recovery. Whoa! Thunderbolt killed? I did not expect that to kill. Uh. What? Could he... I don't know what to expect after that. Wonderful killing was heinous. Go for Drake. Wait. No, he's still go for Drake. If he goes nine tails, I just switch out. This is unfortunate. Thunderbolt killing, he has to be specs. He has to be. Like, there's no other way. He's max speed. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose this one, actually. So, yeah, we're gonna first scale shot. Or this is like... This is probably because I badmouthed Zapdos last time around. But Zapdos is always missing me. Always missing me shots, so I have a right to slander it. For a second since scale shot. It's that Thunderbolt killing was wild though. I've never seen that. Ten, nine. Thanks, we got a fast Haxorus. I think we're faster than this can be. Is he gonna go for the Terra here? He didn't need to. I don't think Poison Jab kills, unfortunately. Do we go for the poison jab and we keep this? Because Monkey Dory can beat this. Beat this with Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory might win the rest of the game. So please just crit. Nope. Okay then. Uh, I think we might just lose now. Can Monkey Door take a hit? Can't take a knockoff, which it just did. So, we tear ground. We still lose the moth if we do that, though. So, I'm gonna go for the tear ground. Mitigate the knockoff damage. It's still gonna do a lot. It's still gonna do, like, 60. But we're fast? Oh, I... Me when I forget I'm playing webs. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot webs were a thing. Bro. Bro. I forgot I had webs up. You, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I just had amnesia on this video, bro. I forgot webs were up. 
Never mind, that was actually a calculated play. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, he makes the last second move. Thank you very much for actually playing the game. Sneasler, I think if it's ballooned, it could still be faster than me, so. And we get another forfeit. Oh, we are on a roll this video. You know what? I'm thinking we'll do one more. And we'll call that a video. It's a 1200s. You know, make it a little bit shorter. Last video was a little bit long. But, you know, we got a defogger. So, we're going to have to get up those webs and go straight into gold. Thunderbolt gold wouldn't actually be a bad idea. For like a team like this. Um, oh, or Bombi. We'll still lead her Bombi. And I'll go for a stun spore. In case you went Hatterene. Yeah, that's why I didn't go for the that. We're immune to... Well, I missed it anyway. Maybe skill... Hatterene might sweep if I don't fight it accordingly. I, I've i used a lot of Hatterene. Maybe we can make a, a, some Hatterene videos, because uh, Hatterene's setup sweeper is very dangerous. Yeah, grassy terrain. I used to run that pre-DLC. He goes in the Corv. I think we just go in our wake. No, we just go in our wake. Wake him up. Wake him up to the truth. Flamethrower. What deals with flamethrower? Sammy? Landy? No matter. We flame. Just gonna go for a U-turn. Rob Brave Bird, because he's insane. We'll keep going for flamethrower, because if Pus comes in, there's a chance to burn. This comes in, chance to burn. It's a slim chance, but this is a gambler's game. Right. Go over bomb. We go for the moon blast. Either kill this or do five damage to hat. He is scared that I'm gonna get those hazards up, but that's also just a good move. I think we're just gonna keep moon blasting. Yeah, just keep moon blasting. It's actually a good move. And even with a special attack lowered, I should still kill. Um, we're gonna go into gold, and we're gonna go for a shadow ball. Now we got a switch on rot. Um, what should we do on rot? You sack the monkey? I don't think monkey is too helpful. Monkey's not the most helpful. Gold is useful for Lando right now. I think go monkey. And now we go Haxorus. We're innately faster, so can Aqua Jet kill? I don't think it will. I'll call it. I'll call it here. I'll call him out on it. Call him out on it. We'll go for this. The SD scale shot. He misses the ceaseless. It's huge. And he could just keep switching back and forth between Lando. And just keep like intimidating my SD away. We're gonna go for another scale shot. Please kill. One, two, crit, three, four. Nah, I wouldn't kill. I wouldn't kill. Now I think you turn kills. He goes for EQ. Okay. And I think we might actually lose this one. We may, in fact, just lose this one. Oh, we were faster than this Lando. He was a slower Lando, I guess. Uh, oh, we still have Roaring Moon up ahead of us there. That's not good. You can just go Roaring Moon and Dragon Dance, and there's no repercussion. You can just go Roaring Moon, period, and there's no repercussion, really. Oh, he, he chooses the best option for us and leaves Tusk. 
So I'm thinking we go gold. Go gold. And we go for a nasty plot. And we just go for Shadow Ball. Roaring Moon is the biggest fret. And there it is. One knockoff will just kill. So yeah, we don't really have much for this. Yeah, I think we might just lose here. Unless he's banded. Unless he's banded. Turn into a dark type. Hopefully that can... Oh, he turned into a dragon! Oh, he went for the super outrage. Oh, yeah, no, we're good. We're going to take... You know, and, and we could time stall here. Like a lot of douchebags on this ladder do. We're just going to take our loss like a man. And you know what? I'm going to call this one here. Webb's got us like a little bit up the ladder. We're, 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 we're inching up the ladder. We're in the 1100s now. You know, fresh account. Fresh account. And we're going to make a good little series out of this. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.